5.17. 1. Hi, is that Anna? Yes. Hi, Rob. Hi there. Look, there's a party on Saturday. Would you like to come? Well, I'm not sure. I don't really like parties. Whose party is it? Linda's. It's her birthday. There'll be lots of people you know. I'm sure you'll have a good time. Well, I'll think about it and I'll tell you tomorrow. 2. What did you do at the weekend, Martin? I went to a concert, the Philharmonia at the City Hall. What was it? Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Was it good? Well, not bad. The orchestra were fantastic, but the singers weren't very good. Mm, that's a pity. 3. OK, now, please can you go to page 24? Come in. Oh, hello, Maria. You're a bit late. Sorry, I missed the bus. Oh, you missed the bus. You missed the bus on Monday, too, and last week. OK, well, come on and sit down. Four. Are you good at languages? Well, quite. I can speak good French and I can read Italian well, though I can't speak it very well. What about German? I can understand it a bit, but I can't really speak it. Well, I think that's brilliant. I can only speak a bit of Spanish and that's it. Five. At Highbury Stadium and Jungberg passes the ball to Omri and he's running towards the goal and he's going to shoot and... Oh. The ball's just gone over the bar, just a metre or so too high. What do you think of that, Trevor? 5.18 Hello, how can I help you? I'd like some information about the sports centre. My daughter wants to learn to play a team sport. How old is she? She's 12. Well, she could learn volleyball, football, basketball. I think she'd like basketball. She's quite tall for her age. Well, there are two groups. One trains on Tuesdays and one on Thursdays. Mm, I think Thursdays would be best for her. She finishes school early on Thursdays. What time is the class? From 6 to 7.30. Is that OK for her? Yes, that's fine. Can I have her name, please? Yes, her name's Susan Stevens. Can you spell the surname? Yes, S-T-E-V-E-N-S. -E -E right, I'll put her down for the Thursday group then. How much do the classes cost? You don't have to pay, uh, they're free. Oh, great. Well, she'll be there on Thursday at six then. Bye. Bye. File 6. 6.1 6 If I lend you my newspaper, we'll start talking. If we start talking, we'll become friends. If we become friends, I'll invite you to my house in Venice. If I invite you to my house, you'll meet my beautiful daughter, Nicoletta. If you meet Nicoletta, you'll fall in love with her. If you fall in love with her, you'll run away together. If you run away, I'll find you. If I find you, I'll kill you. So that's why I won't lend you my newspaper. Six point two. E. E. O. 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 6.3 If Will Win Leave Meet Wheel Borrow Stop Wash Law Story Talk Look Push Took Beautiful. Move. Cue. 
6.4. OK, Michael, can you tell us what to do in these three situations? First, what about the crocodile attack? Well, once a crocodile has seen you, it will attack you. So doing nothing is not really an option. Ah. And a crocodile attacks so quickly that people never have time to swim to safety. The crocodile will try to get you in its mouth and take you under the water. Your only hope is to try to hit it in the eye or on the nose. If you did this and you were very lucky, the crocodile would open its mouth and give you time to escape. Uh -huh. But I have to say that it's very difficult, although not impossible, to survive a crocodile attack. What about the bear attack? When a bear attacks someone, their natural reaction is always to try to run away or to climb up a tree. Hmm. But these are both bad ideas. Bears can run much faster than we can, and they're also much better and faster at climbing trees. The best thing to do in this situation would be to pretend to be dead. A bear usually stops attacking when it thinks that its enemy is dead. And so, if you were lucky, it would lose interest in you and go away. Aha. Uh -huh. And finally, the bull attack. Well, if you were in the middle of a field, forget about running. Bulls can run incredibly fast. And don't shout or wave your arms, because bulls react to movement. And this will just make the bull come in your direction. Ah. Oh. The best thing to do is to try not to move and just stay where you are. And then at the last moment to throw something, a hat or your shirt, away from you. If you were lucky, the bull would change direction to follow the hat or shirt and you'd be able to escape. Uh -huh. By the way, it doesn't matter what colour the shirt is. It isn't true that bulls like red. They don't see colour, they only see movement. 6.5 1 If I saw a crocodile, I'd climb a tree. 2 What would you do if you saw a snake? 3 We could have a dog if we had a garden. 4 If a bear attacked me, I wouldn't move. 5 If I were you, I'd go on a safari. 6.6 1 <laughs> 2 3 Oh no! Run! Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Six point seven. Song. Wouldn't it be nice?
Hope and pray it might come true